Okay, in this video, I'll go over the new tires I got for my 2012 Pathfinder and give some initial driving impressions. These old tires are Goodyear, I want to say Assurance. They came with the vehicle. I got the vehicle used, so I guess the previous owner at some point in time put these on. You can see they're pretty worn down. I probably should have changed them at the end of last winter, but I figured I'd drive them through the summer, wear them out more, and uh, make sure that they were fully used before I go and get a new set of tires. And obviously I wanted to get a new set of tires before the winter because these good years are pretty worn out now. So the ones I picked out from Nissan were these Pirelli Scorpions and they are the all-terrain plus versions. You can see they've got a significantly more aggressive tread pattern. And on the side, while they do say all-terrain plus, they got the three peak mountain snowflake rating. They're 265, 65 R17s in size, which I think is a fairly small tire actually. They do have some sidewall tread blocks. You can see that all the tread blocks have some significant siping in them. And the tread blocks are supposed to be in the shape of a P and an S, I'm assuming for Pirelli Scorpion. I'm not sure if that was intentional or what, but that's what it's supposed to be. And overall, I think they look good. I wouldn't say they're my favorite looking tire. I think I like the BF Goodridge All Trains a little bit more for looks, but these were $150 less per tire. And you might ask yourself why I went to Nissan to get these. Basically, Nissan in this area will price match any competitor and give a 30-day price match guarantee. But I'll jump over to some driving review. Obviously, I picked up these Pirelli tires today and mounted them up. So I wanted to do a quick drive to see how they handle on dry roads. This is probably the last time before the spring that I'll have an opportunity to go on a bare dry road with no snow, no moisture on it at all. And just to try them out and see what they're like, see how noisy they are, that kind of thing. My immediate impression is that they're about the same as any tire I've had on any SUV before. There's nothing particularly noteworthy about them. They, they corner fine, they start and stop fine, and that's sort of what I would expect from a tire on dry asphalt or dry concrete. There's nothing really too much to say about it. Obviously, I'm a little more interested in getting out and doing reviews on snowy roads and then going to find some snowy off-road areas to try these tires out on actual difficult conditions. Um, and, then, and then in the spring, I'm going to want to get out into the mud and then onto some hard packed dirt and that kind of thing so that I could put them through their paces in slightly more challenging terrain than what we've got here today. Now despite the fact that I bought them with winter driving conditions and mud and, and dirt in mind, most of my driving is going to be on asphalt and concrete in dry conditions like it is right now. So this is what they sound like at full highway speed. I'm not sure if that comes through the camera very well. But like I said, they are slightly noisier than other tires I've had, but I don't find them exceptionally noisy. And if road noise is something that you're very concerned about, I don't think that these tires would be a bad choice. They're just not as quiet as some tires, but they're certainly not as noisy as other tires. So my stunning conclusion on these is that when driving on dry asphalt and concrete, they're pretty much just like any other tire you've ever used nearly indiscernible in fact. Now I just gotta wait for some snow to fall so I can give these tires a proper test in some harsh conditions. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.